Welcome fellow sportsmen to the beginning of the 2012 big game season setting process. My name is Daryl Mainz, Regional Wildlife Manager for the Upper Snake Region. We have provided you with seven YouTube videos sharing the most up-to-date information we have on surveys and harvest information for mule deer, white-tailed deer, elk, antelope, black bear, mountain lion, and wolves. This year wolves will be a part of the big game season setting process. Hunter harvest data from 2011 will be available sometime in mid-February. These videos serve two purposes, information sharing for you and issue identification for us. Please note, you will not be able to use the YouTube comment box to submit your comments, but my email address will be provided at the end of each video for you to use. This video outlines black bear harvest data from the Upper Snake region. If you need additional time to look at a figure or graph, please use the pause button located below the video. This graph shows black bear harvest from 1985 through 2011. Male harvest is represented by light blue and female harvest by dark blue. Black bear harvest is usually related to habitat conditions. Poor berry crops, for example, can make bears travel farther to find food and make them more susceptible to baiting. Black bear harvest has remained fairly stable in the Upper Snake region over the last 10 years with harvest averaging just over 150 bears per year. Black bear management in the state of Idaho is guided by the statewide black bear management plan. This plan divides the state into different DAUs or data analysis units. The Upper Snake region contains DAU 4B and 4C and part of DAU 4D. These DAUs are similar to elk zones in that they are a group of units where we manage bears similarly. We use two metrics to evaluate bear harvest and determine if a particular population is being over harvested or under harvested according to the state black bear management plan. The first is the percentage of females taken in the harvest. Our management plan calls for female harvest to be between 30 and 40 percent. DAUs 4B and 4D are within objective, while DAU 4C has a lower percentage of females taken in the harvest. This is likely a result of hound hunting and baiting restrictions in some of these units. These restrictions are in place because of the presence of grizzly bears in those units. The second metric we use to evaluate bear harvest is the percentage of adult males taken in the harvest. If the percentage of adult males drops below 25 percent, then that is an indication that the population doesn't contain many mature males and is probably being over harvested. All three upper snake DAUs are within or over objective regarding the percentage of adult males in the harvest. These data indicate that DAUs 4B and 4D have acceptable harvest levels according to the bear management plan, while DAU 4C has lower harvest than the plan calls for. We are now seeking your input to identify issues with the current big game hunting seasons. As an example, I would like to see more or less hunting opportunity for whatever species in whatever unit. Deadline for these comments is February 16th. We will consider these issues and present strategies or changes to resolve these issues at public meetings later in the month. These proposals will also be posted on our Fishing Game website, where you can also provide comment. Meeting times and places will be noted in local newspapers, our Fishing Game website, fishandgame.idaho.gov, or you can always call our regional office at 208-525-7290. Please email your issues to me at daryl.mines at idfg.idaho.gov. If you need additional time to write down this email address, press the pause button located below this video. Thank you for taking the time to help us set the big game seasons for 2012.